everybody, Andy here with Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today I'm going to review another Sideshow figure, and it is the Triceratops. And again, you're probably saying, why so much Sideshow this week? But it's because this thing is also still in stock at Sideshow's website, but it is also low stock remaining, so I just wanted to get it reviewed and out there so that, well, I'm sure you've seen it before, but just in case you were wondering if, you know, you could still buy it, you can, but it's not going to be available for long. This thing is a uh, limited edition. This time, I think I'm correct when I say it is a limited edition of 1,000. I was wrong with the T-Rex. That was 2,000, but I'm pretty sure this was 1,000. There was a uh, limited edition exclusive that was released before this. I think had a skull with it, but I could be wrong. I, again, wasn't even collecting them when they had originally released this. So I missed out on it. I'm not 100% sure if that's what it was, but I think it was a skull that was released with it. This thing is immaculate, is a good word to put it. It's amazing. I love Triceratops. I always have. It was always the perfect opponent for the T-Rex. No matter when you were a kid, you always saw T-Rex versus Triceratops. So I had to have the Triceratops when I saw it. Now originally, on the prototype pictures on Sideshow's website, I felt like it didn't really look that great. I mean, I actually put off buying this for quite a while, and it wasn't until I had already purchased all the other Sideshow figures I could find for a decent price that were still for sale, before I was finally like, okay, I guess I'll buy the Triceratops. And, I mean, I always wanted the Triceratops because I love Triceratops, but I just didn't like the paint job that they had uh, done on this, on the prototype pictures, until I got it home, Finally opened it, pulled it out of the box, and wow, it looks way better in person than it looks in the prototype pictures. Now that doesn't happen too often. Most of the time your figure will end up looking, well, sometimes like crap compared to the prototypes. Like Papo does it a lot where they don't look like terrible, but their prototypes are insane. And then you get it home and it's just like a generic version of the prototype. They still look really good, but the prototypes make them look like they're next level. This thing, however, looked a little iffy in the promos but uh, in the prototype pictures but I can let you know with utmost confidence that this thing looks awesome in person it looks way better than the prototype pictures did I feel like the prototype pictures just kind of made it look like it was a generically painted dinosaur statue whereas the actual paint in real life makes it look like a living animal like maybe they literally just froze the Triceratops in time and here he is or she I don't know what it is unfortunately I had a little case of bad luck this week where I snapped off a toe well not even a toe a slight piece of the claw of my Dinostorius compi and when I was pulling this off it snapped off a little piece of the base too so I'm having some terrible luck this week luckily that's not very much and I can probably just paint that up a little bit fix it make it look like it never even happened but a word of warning if you do happen to buy this or any sideshow because I could imagine this could probably happen to anything if you leave it sit for too long and then try to pull it up be very careful as you're pulling it off because I just kind of pulled this sucker off I wanted to wipe him down real quick because he had collected some dust and he must have been there for just way too long snapped off part of the base so I'm having some crap luck this week anyway as far as the dinosaur goes Try to get a close-up. Camera doesn't focus too well. I've said this a thousand times. It looks okay through this, but it probably looks like crap in reality. As far as my video goes, I mean, in real life it looks amazing. But uh, like I said, the paint job they did is incredible. It just looks amazing. It looks so alive. And I say that a lot but it's probably because I keep reviewing my favorite figures first as opposed to ones that I don't really like too much aside from that safari Amargosaurus who was pretty hideous now everything on this seems to be painted quite well it may not be like, nope, can't get in the mouth from this position the mouth is painted pretty well too all the feet, the claws, everything the base also, now let's see if I can pull them off we can look at the base without breaking them some more. Luckily I didn't break the Triceratops, just the base I guess. But uh, the base looks really good too. Nice paint job all over. 
I'm not sure what you would term this. I mean, they've got like this rocky underside here, which clearly is showing some dust as it's been sitting a while. I apologize for that. The top kind of uh, gives me the impression that maybe it's just a muddy upper part of the base. There's a little broken down tree branch here. I mean, he's got some nice squishy footprints in there, so it looks like mud to me. But I have been wrong before. Underside of the statue, all of the base. I have number 668 of 1000, so I was right with the guess of 1000. Limited edition. Actually, let me turn the base this way. Oh, Jesus. No wonder I break stuff. Turn it that way so I can put the Triceratops back on. Go and you can look at the other side. Very, very, very nice paint job done to this thing. It's also a very big figure, as I told you before. I mean, it's not, you know, enormous. It's not like Gastonia size, but as far as figures go, it's a good, decent size. The size from the tail to the tip of the horn is probably around the 20, 21 inches, maybe about 20 and a half. The size from the ground to the top of the horn is, or the top of the frill is probably about 11 inches, maybe a little over 11 inches. So, decent size figure. Again, like I said, it's uh, near sold out. As far as Sideshow goes, they said that it's low stock remaining. I don't remember for sure if it's still available on BigBadToyStore.com. I think it is. So I'll link you guys to that as well. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to get you guys to see the, some nice shots of it. Get you guys aware of the fact that it is near sold out. So if you're interested in it, please get on buying it right away. I don't want anybody to miss out on this. And obviously there's only a thousand left, well not left, a thousand of these to go around, so you might want to buy it soon. So yeah, please uh, like, subscribe, comment. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.